Hello Shoe Street Hello Online Tuner, hello Ricardo Hello Super Ultra Mega Hyper, hello Mike Hello Bradcom, hello VM Oh yeah, I'm about to play Seed of the Week, so If you want to play this later yourself, don't want to be spoiled, leave right now I just um probably planning to be a short stream. I'm not playing defect today, I don't think, because I need to go to um I need to go to my bank later today. Oh yeah, it's uh I'm clearly twenty. Hmm, interesting. I see some complete garbage. Into hexagon, so Basha is like fine. Yeah, you can swap as well. Um, we can do Basha into trying to force this into two elites with burning blood, or we can maybe swap and do like this way. Um, onto three into shop if needed, or advance away and then fire elite fire. Elite. But yeah, I think Bashup is fine. And we... But uh, com right side is a... I mean right side is a doable still. Maybe you can do this on the 3 4 on the 3 4 5 into fire burning elite. Into second elite here. Um, so I think left, left side is probably slightly better though. Yeah, so I think left is probably slightly better. Let's do that. I actually haven't played in Clan in a while. <laughs> Recently, all I've been doing off stream is playing Slice and Die, so uh, yeah. Like, the only spy character I've been playing recently is Defect. Left it and Mulak. But yeah, I start left. I start left. And. Why are you attacking? Anti go no potion, here's a carnage which we take. Heal 5 or heal 6. So the carnage make this slightly more appealing, yeah? At the same time, maybe you say it's strong enough to do this, but um, yeah, carnage plus. In exchange for some safety, no potion first fight. Is okay. And nice today? No. I only have a few hours today, so I just play this and then um, no stream later. I don't think. And upgrade? No, upgrade you can choose. If you take upgrade from Neo, you can choose. But yeah, Neo is upgrade one, uh, upgrade pass. Oh, 13? Nice. My myriad is a uh, one zero though, one hundred percent. One hundred percent, so myriad confirm OP. Yeah, absolutely busted. Okay, we do we take this Carnage green or not? Um, minus one elite for Carnage upgrade and safety. Probably fine, man. Eh? Because Basha Wade also says that we are bad against sentries, first floor, no potion. I mean, bad is a big word, but yeah, we are not that good against sentries. And then we have to go to two elites with our Carnage upgrade. If we do this way. Uh, one advance for way. But it's not. And it sucks. I mean, I still played over Bash, maybe. Too vulnerable over 10 damage, but uh, Carnage in the B draw. Yeah, sure. Now read all Carnage and kill. Unfortunately, attack 17 and we don't roll lethal, so I take extra 2. Holy, uh, that's fine. Uh, we have a 2 cost deck right here, you can see. 2 cost, 2 cost, 2 cost. <laughs> 
How many of them are we going to draw this turn? Oh, actually only one. So next one we have Carnage. Um, hopefully we do a strike. If we don't draw a strike here, it would be slightly sad. But yeah, we do. Headbutt versus Metallic Size. Huh? Headbutt with Carnage Plus and Bash Plus is not too bad. This is advanced hallway. Um, metallic Size and Hexagon is very good. Metallic Size with the fact that we are currently pretty strong against Nob and Lagavulin. But um, against the Sentries, we have a problem. And honestly, me, yeah, Metallic Size against Lagavulin also good. We should be somewhat strong against Nob. Two costs. Ah, two costs. <laughs> That's two costs. But yeah, Metallic Size is fine. Headbutt is also a common. I don't think I picked two headbutts in this spot yet. Uh, no reason to go to shop. Your Hexagos act, we are very, very, very healthy. I mean, maybe it's not being healthy after this floor, but for now we are healthy and we have burning blood. Let's be greedier. Ow, minus 13. I should bash here, so I will. Uh, Metallicizer's defend. Minus 2. Okay, what's next on split 18? Shuffle or carnage. Maybe split 9. Pretty defend. Yeah, suddenly not so healthy. Yeah, two costs. Yeah, nice. Very nice. 18 is a bad number, by the way. We do not split on. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Not healthy. Suddenly not so healthy. I mean, still 55. It's not too bad, but like, point chance now was 60. Um, yeah, 4 fights, 3 on 60. Garbage. Unless you tell me it's Thunderclap time, but mm, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> Hello, Patrice, and we good luck. Yeah, boy, Carnage, and then continue this way. 1 I mean, at least we did not go this way. Eh? If we get owned here and then Carnage, not even green, uh, maybe everything sucks. I don't know. Maybe everything. Everything still sucks, but it sucks a little bit less. That is two damage off. Uh, if attacks will be 14 next turn, I am sad. I mean, I take 6 then. And I take 5 here. Okay. Can I see what cut? You 1 plus 8 or 1 plus 0? Also, uh, more importantly, we also have bash, freaking bash plus already. Plus 0. Okay, it doesn't show you an upgrade version yet, but plus 8. I think 8 is bigger than 0. I think. Ah, bitch. Ah, I'm clad. Oh, I miss I'm clad, guys. Look at these cut rewards. <laughs> Just look at these cuts and you feel right at home with the I'm clad. Is this the exact last screen? Like, yeah, okay. Almost, almost. You replace the Thunderclap with a Body Slam, you have the exactly this cut reward. But yeah, and Chen is here, Boomerang is also here. Cool. Um, yeah, we fight this. Point Chen is now 50. Your sentries. So, any potion? We might need to power pot against Hexagos here, so I think I'm allowed to use skill pot here, but not power pot. And skill pot this turn is okay. Shockwave is instant kill. Uh, yeah, Flame Barrier can also block. And then we can deal 34, and 34 is a good number. And the metallic size.
Hier ist andere Kanitsch. Now we prep this guy in the carnage. And somebody will draw carnage and hopefully with a strike. Of course, it's slightly better than block fort, but yeah, we prep this on the carnage range and now next time we have a defense. So yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Unless we get tax next turn, but it usually doesn't happen. One chance now is 40. Oh, huh. um, that's our upper cut upgrade, kind of. No, oh, this war cry is like very good here, yeah, but I think uh, I should still take the struck. Yeah, this war cry is actually very good. Yeah, let's take struck. Okay, point chance 100. We currently don't actually have anything else to upgrade besides uppercut, so I guess we still upgrade uppercut. Um, but yeah, it's not even like upgrade uppercut is bad with this or anything. So you have like three weakness from here, one weakness from the bash, and so you have perma weak with a win shockwave in uh, single target fights. Not bad. And it's shame, yeah, yeah. I need to go to the bank later today, so uh, don't really have time. <laughs> Early stream, I only play this. I don't think I'm playing it. Um, I don't think I'm playing defect. Unless I die super fast, you know, but even then, I probably still don't play defect. <laughs> and it sucks. Uh, we have a problem. I mean, it is vulnerable. Um,. Yeah, these relics do not say that we kill Hexagos, so I still don't want to use this. I can see gambling for 4. And maybe keep the bash. I can also see gambling for 5, but uh, probably should gamble for 4 only, if we gamble. Right now I can absolutely still die to Hexagos, so I do not want to use this. Yeah, it's fine. Let's gamble 4. Is put my vault, put my wick. Even if we take a hit, it's fine. And Carnes plus try is killing. Five of seven, we draw the thing. If not, then I lose. What does it go? Two plus three. I must draw Carnes, yeah? Um, yeah, okay. So I block. Okay, that's... This potion is good and this relic is also not too bad. Uh, the dropkick. <laughs> Strong is nice and all, but this dropkick is like, you know... Pretty sick, no? Especially if we say that we might have hexagos damage problems, even with the strike dummy. Uh, yeah, unless you tell me the, uh, we don't care about hexagos and we should pick for Act 2. And if we pick for Act 2, it's struck. Hello there, thank you for the red. Hey, no defect today, only I am trapped. Probably should still take second strike because uh, after the strike dump me. And we still can preserve this power potion, we can even choose the next potion to... Uh, to do, uh, save for this thing. Honestly, this potion into Hexagos is not even bad because you can make sure that you can land vulnerable with Carnage if you draw them together. Yeah, sure. Let's take Shrug. Yeah, just clip kicking Shrug. Like, cannot go that wrong. And it's one. One is fine. SP pause. Ah, it's back. And yeah, I mean, I take this one. Unless you tell me it's time for strike. Okay, and they drop kick. Five, so yeah, this is fine. And then uh why do I play this drop kick? It's eight, so maybe I should still hit here. Infinity infinitely bad. Hmm? 
eight eight. So yeah, I guess we just take uh, damage. I mean, I can do here and then double defense take six. Hmm, that's better. I mean, we have double struck and a freaking drop kick. <laughs> yeah, chance is nice and over, you know, but uh, drop kick already literally in the deck, and there's two strucks. And uh, this deck is also very much in Sneko. <laughs> like, very, very much in Sneko. Yeah, how bad can this be anyway? Blood Potion, I don't think I attack them, even though it's better, it's better into Act 2. I think I'm going to just secure the Hexagos fight right now. Uh, and this potion is not bad in Hexagos or anything, but sometimes we miss the Carnage. Sometimes we exhaust Carnage or miss Vulnerable, and with the drop kick, I don't want to miss Vaughn. Uh, I guess we never use double potion in that fight, right? 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 <laughs> okay, I take this first. Yeah, surely we never double potion hex where we never need to double potion hex to not die, yeah? Because this blood pause is pretty freaking cool with the white beast. Uh into act 2 as well, plus 16. Power is probably better than energy because we do a strike dummy and drop quick. Uh, probably will be green drop quick even in this port. I can see green corruption as well, but um a green drop is not too bad. That's fine. Mm, interesting. At least it's kills. And we can use blood pot here if we want to. <laughs> 47 currently, yeah? So 47 is like perfect. Uh, if you use Blood Pot, then it's 63. Uh, slightly bad, but it's okay. Is uh pretty bad unless you tell me one blood for blood somehow or thunder clap, thunder clap drop kick, thunder clap uh, champion spell, thunder clap carnage. <laughs> Probably not. Um yeah, if not mm, one of these, then we just skip. Black explosion uh, probably not right. I think I keep this blood. Yeah, I think I keep this blood pot. And we can upgrade either corruption or drop kick here. Can even upgrade metallic size, yeah? but um. In case you break energy into Act 2, I guess Corruption Upgrade is not that bad. The only really, the only thing it really opens is to for us to play either Metallic Size Dropping on the same turn, no? If you break energy. But I guess it opens 4 energy um, into Corruption and another 2 cost attack. And if we see Sneko, that's maybe the good case already, so we don't care. And Dropping is plus 3, but it also sometimes misses and it's worse on the strike then. And for later, well, you want this in Act 2 or not? You want to just waste it here, you want to use it in Act 2. And uh, your HP, you use it here, yeah? Your HP get cut in half by the Hexagos. And it's just wasted. So instead of getting, so you get 16 here. But uh, 16 in Hexagos is 8. And so you get 2 HP into Act 2. On the other hand, you can just skip this and have 16 in Act 2. So that's plus 14. Yeah, it's just plus 14 from the virtue of you doing nothing. I went past, yes. Yeah, you do nothing and suddenly you get plus 14 for free. Isn't that nice? Okay, not for free. Yeah, you do lose a flex spot, but uh, mostly free. Because you do use power pot in Hexagos. Yeah, 
that's a good question. Hmm. But the corruption, I don't know, like around here. This dragon has quite a bit of damage. Yeah, yeah, it's not metallic size, not with corruption even. I think I do play corruption immediately. And yeah, corruption dragon brain is not actually so good at the moment because you have on rock kick and not two. <laughs> if you have two rock quick, like, is it infinite immediately or what? Like, no way, right? Struck is drawing two, so our hand is going to have um, seven. One, two, three, four. This exhaust. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We are one cast shot, yeah. We will be one cast shot. Oh, yeah, Jogger will take. I think I keep the shock for later, but I can corruption strike now. Even though I miss the Carnage now, I don't really mind. Yeah. If you don't miss the Carnage, yeah, cool. Ah, we don't even need to choose between Carnage and Uppercut. That's great. Be fine. Now we have to choose, but it's okay. We just play triple strike per turn, doesn't really 39 damage. Let's just keep it weak and vulnerable. Yeah, that's freaking 39 damage per turn, 44 damage per turn. form is the only thing that's maybe reasonable here because we say short fights we have strike dummy we have white beast we have corruption um we have carnage but long fights damage scaling we don't have anything beyond just exhausting into rocky and so yeah snake go on the table um we corruption plus already in the deck i don't think i care about buzzer and yeah bludgeon is definitely not That is not Sneko. Also, that is cringe. <laughs> My strike that way. <laughs> hmm, so we break on energy relic. We break on energy relic, uh, which is really bad, yeah? And also, maybe our damage goes down after the picking this. It was, did you, um, did you play with Anzi Fix? Because the... Um, if you see a different boss relic here, it probably means that you are not playing with Anzi Fix. Because Anzi Fix is, um, I wouldn't say the. I don't know how do I say it. It's like uh, it, the assumption is that you do play this seed with Anzi Fix. In fact, oh yeah, the card rewards is fine. If you see the same boss relic, your card rewards a billion things change the card rewards. <laughs> so that's whatever. Which is why like, playing the same seed is not actually super productive um, if you want to compare like players. If you want to purely compare players, like uh, you need to watch both players for hundreds of games. <laughs> playing the same seed doesn't give you any conclusion because yeah, you change your path and suddenly your card rewards are completely different. But yeah, yeah, swappers win again. And now we are cringing out. But I guess I label away three strikes. Instead of uh, taking P box because they have corruption plus, so defense are not even so insanely terrible. And now, uh, like right now, our damage output is expensive, yeah? So if we take P box and we P box give us a normal and clad P box, we're in trouble.
who is not the best defect player. No, he is the best defect player in the tournament. That much I will say. That is actually clear before the tournament even started. Yeah. But that is not because of his result inside the tournament. <laughs> Oh yeah, I just left me strikes and uh, I'll try that me slightly sad, but maybe it's fine. That's not bad. I'm um, seeing red plus is very good. Infernal blade is not, um, yeah, not so bad, especially when we energy stuff and iron wave plus is yeah good. Still mediocre, kind of mediocre for boss relic, but. Um, and this is not like, you know, garbage. <laughs> so we can go very safe in this act or we can be the ironclad and just fight the burning elite force into another elite force into another elite force. <laughs> now what we are fighting burning elite, right? Because that's the only part that has an early shop and also the every other part has basically no value. Automaton is also not even easy, yeah? Because applying debuffs in that fight is difficult, and then um, even if we try to exhaust down like corruption. Oh yeah, we have um, one exhaust only. Yeah, this is not a real exhaust unless we see a second win or something. So exhausting down to drop pick is not um, exactly super simple. No fear, no no. It's not even about no fear. It's just that every other fight is also extremely bad. Let's say you try, you do not fight this, and what do we? Where do you go? Let me be here. Yeah, this elite is also like dangerous. If you don't fight this elite, you have on elite act to maximum. Uh, no shock. Yeah, of course we are fighting burn elite. If we die, we die. What are you? Okay. I can also see just taking this hit and then blood pot after. But uh, blood pot right now is for ten. If we defend, fin fire, um, take ten. We heal six, so we're missing fourteen. So the blood pot is slightly wasted. And it more difficult normal leads, yes. It has one of four buffs. Um, either strength buff. 25% max HP, uh, a bit of regen or metallicize. But you need to fight it in order to unlock like four. Yeah, block power now is only for 10, but maybe that's fine. I can also see Blood Pot for 12 and then put another 10 damage in. So we take 3 damage in our face in order to deal 10 more. Because I'm doing this um, 30, yeah, it actually puts it down to Cardish plus 1 range. If we defend into Fiend Fire only 20, 20, 57, so Cardish plus try is not killing. Actually, uh, having Cardish threshold is pretty important. Especially because we see the seeing red is already here. Yeah? No longer vulnerable unless we play this bash. Uh, so we can metallic size and store is still weaken next turn. We can have like maybe carnage iron way. Still deal three damage and we take like three less. Or we can metal bash in here. So the moment we draw to carnage, the fight ends. Is that even true? 15 so 29 and 29. But it heals 3, so 32, 32, 41, yeah, 41 carnage is killing. Ah, sure. Uh, Metallic size built. Amor is worthless. I mean, we do have demon form, but yeah, mostly worthless. Second, Metallic size, I don't think so. 
I mean, Pamu is not exactly worthless for one fight. Are you beyond that? Not really. Let's try burning it. Wait, Pamu. We're actually not very good in the against this fight, yeah? <laughs> Pamu not broken with the bell. Upper cut. You see our deck. You see our deck right here. Do you want to add an uppercut minus to this? Hmm, <laughs> Khan is here as well. Ah, drawing Khan is here is actually quite bad, yeah? Because now I can no longer kill this. Even if I put Bash here. I should probably still put Bash here. Because it's already buffing, but uh, it's just not very good. But yeah, our deck is very bad against this fight. <laughs> our deck generally is very bad against this fight. Especially if we miss the Carnage to one shot. Oh yeah, this is why we still have the Blood Pot. If we flex, can we kill this? 10, 15, 7. 7, 18, 13, 20. So, not really. We need to draw into another attack, so draw quick first. Yep, so hurt. Or we should play metallic size. It's blocking 5, it's also blocking 5, this can also block 6 if we put it elsewhere, but... Uh... I mean, it's weakened 3, so 2 turns from now it still works. Let's say they add a super buff next turn, yeah, and then it blocks 6 another turn. And this guy maybe dies in two. Ow. He is whooping, so the weakness plays, at least. Oh, this is so freaking bad, though. This guy's buffing now. We are not taking damage this turn, but if I don't flex, then it doesn't die. And next turn, this guy still has on strength. This guy is on strength. This guy never deals damage next turn because it's either one times six, which is weakening, or um, it goes back down to the thing. Hey, I... This fight also kind of shows you uh, if you can't is your main damage, and like two bad things happen sometimes. <laughs> Very bad things happen sometimes if you can't is the only damage in act two. And we already committed to the Burning Elite, yeah? so we cannot bail out, but we can buy uh, some potions in the shop. Probably just flex now, right? I just kill this. Seventeen, so ten, but I lose two more. I guess I should still lose the two. Oh yeah, but cutting uh, this two turns ago turns out to be quite nice. Drawing a double struck here as well, yeah? with the corruption in hand. That's terrible. I probably still play the corruption, but yeah, that's not good. Okay, at least we draw defend here. A couple of seeds? No, I can tell you that uh, Azuki definitely did not try the seed. <laughs> Otherwise, good luck, have fun, would never happen. Good choice, okay. Avec? 
no war cry but we do have corruption plus and we have demon form we can take a war cry after this or a headbutt I mean, this Havoc should be kind of okay. Yeah? You exhaust any attack as well. You can maybe cycle. Um, you can get your Rock Kick loop. Unless you exhaust your own your Rock Kick, of course. But even then, the defense energy is not too bad. Yeah, for short fight, it's like just fine. And yeah, sometimes play Demon Form or any two cost attack, and it's good. Probably okay. The cleric, yeah, so I love the cleric. Uh, I mean, we can still remove strike. Our damage output is going uh, down, down, and down, no? Like, sure, we have this corruption idea, yeah? But, no. Uh, suddenly now, strike up me is like useless. I can see removing defense even. But again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 cards. If we remove the strike, we have 6 after a couple of turns. And we do pick like Pomo or whatever to fill the gap, maybe. Uh, don't have a lot of time. Though. We have like one shop in here and then this burning elite, yeah? So you can also refuse this. And then go... Just go to the shop and buy strong things. Because right now we have 0 potion. We actually have 0 potion in the burning elite fight. We have HP. So if we need to buy like 2 potions and a relic... That's already um, 270, 100, so it removes the F25. Uh, yeah, the remove is uh, slightly threatening short term, yeah? and there's a second shop here. It's not even very strong, especially if you're running into like, slavers, and you get wounded, and then everything sucks. No, I, I think I just refuse this cleric. Yeah? We're getting scammed here. We don't get scammed. I've wet all strikes on defense. I mean, remove is fine, but I would like my strike to be green. Defense being plus is also good with 3 energy. So we could have removed both strikes and then we run to burn elite and die. Mm. Yeah, that could have been done. Ah, Pomo strike on sale. There's a mummified hand with energy stuff with corruption. Yeah, corruption mummified hand is a big combo, yeah. And then metallic size demon form. And we uh because we refuse the cleric, we have enough gold to buy Pomo Strike Mummified Hand Fear Pot. Hmm, interesting. And also buy sling, but I think this is a little bit too strong. We have enough, right? It's um 308. So we have 69 gold remaining, yeah, perfect. And we can choose between fear pot and draw pot. Um, I think I do fear pot. Even though we already have bash up card, like fear pot makes the drop quick, play immediately turn one, and it also um, allow us to choose a carnage instead of these two. Holy perfect gold. Oh yeah, full juice first. There is no need to drink the blood pot just yet. We have one upgrade. I think we can upgrade Havoc. Probably Havoc um, instead of Pamo. Even with the corruption. I Pamo upgrade with the seeing red though, and then the mummified hand is quite strong too. Plus one damage. Ah, maybe Pamo is fine. And we don't drink this in case this thing drops a uh, toy on the top or um, max HP relic like mango, whatever. Or maybe it drops a complete garbage potion and we still... I don't know, we have this for whatever reason. Oh, I think upgrade is used just after corruption in play, but after corruption in play, maybe we are okay. And upgrading to zero energy also says that um, playing metallic size or demon form, we don't need to like, roll 50-50 to discount a two-cost attack or something similar. 
pretty strong. Yeah, I can drop Resco sometimes too. Next file is after two more elites. This shot is mostly empty. You can we can actually take a remove now if we want to. I don't think remove is that strong though in this spot. Yeah, strike plus dealing freaking twelve damage. <laughs> And we can rest, but yeah, that's probably stupid. I think I just have with Havoc. Max S3 boost stabbing, very nice. Yeah, here's a Havoc. Um, you can still play it first, and then Corruption. If it hits the Carnage and we don't fear pot beforehand, it's going to be slightly sad though. Um, but maybe it's fine regardless. We're not taking wounds now, we're not taking wounds next turn. I do want to redraw the Havoc, I think. So yeah, Havoc first is fine. And honestly, we can't even save this potion sometimes. Yeah? Our deck is not so bad here. At least with this draw. Corruption top deck. Ah. Ah, so that's 3 energy for free. Hmm. I mean, I like that. Uh, do we save Unstruck? We can save Unstruck here. I can Struck first and then play Corruption because we still discount the card. Hmm, I think it's good, right? Struck first. Yeah, and now we can Corruption. In fact, I can strike here first and then Corruption Guarantee Discount Bash. Uh, but then if this truck draws into something... Yeah, that's not. Let's take a 50-50 now, it's fine. Okay, we lost a 50-50. Not a huge problem. Defend plus is a good redraw, so we keep. Oh, I guess we're taking damage. <laughs> that is pretty silly, but I guess we're taking damage. <laughs> okay, um, stupid question time. Do we ever use this potion for 6 HP? Probably not, right? Because this potion is still here. We have one empty slot. Now, this thing red will be quite bad, though, because now we have a burn. Corruption is in play. Mummy Fat Hand is still around the table, and we're taking 3 wounds now. I probably exhausted seeing red. Now that is a, a terribly... Yeah, that's a horrendous draw. But it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's not that fine, but it's like mostly fine, you know. Ow. Also, yeah, here's you see uh, the strength boost stopping compared to the max HP. Because strength boost stopping is really dead last turn. And you only take um, the strength, so it goes 7, that's 2 times per hit. Turn 1, you still take 0. So the strength boost stopping is dealing to you extra plus 3. And then the other turn is plus 9, so it's plus 12. Yeah, last turn you already took more than 12, so you can see it right here. Max HP boost stabbing is just more annoying than strength in a lot of cases. Also, this is not even lethal because we draw like crap. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> we only take two though, this is not that bad. Ish. Uh, burning pack? Yeah, I guess we take. We can exhaust down to like some drop kicks. Drop kick combo, maybe not a bad loop. Metallic side is okay too. Oh uh, yeah, pack is probably just stronger. Can take power through as well, but the wounds really really hurt in this spot. Fat not block is slightly necessary, less necessary with these. All being green. And we don't have a way, we don't have evolve to deal with the wounds. Uh, upgrade Pommel. I don't think we should take the pain in this kind of spot. Even though the pain is in a 9 gold. Yeah, upgrade Pommel is fine. Oh, 
Pao is fine, okay that. Sevo is not so fine. Yeah, we corruption first and see. I should burning fire away this try, right? Um to see new cards. Root. I guess I could play the strike first, but there was a chance we drawn to like palm or burning pack or even drop kick. This strike is pretty scary, by the way, yeah? because the wounds really, really hurt, and we miss a vulnerable here already. So I will double pot. I'm like now if we land bash or pommel here then we can iron wave here and then cut it somewhere else um otherwise i can hit the skill yeah this fight scary like three wounds six wounds now and we miss on a vulnerable source ah okay that's much better yeah, that's much better. <laughs> Hello, Asuki. Hang with the red. So this would be 23 damage on yeah? this body slam. Cannot kill me though. We can, however, kill left and then accept vulnerable here but that's not a problem because next turn this would die unless we bottleneck pommel one of six mm, if we bottleneck pommel one of six and it's pretty bad we need 35 here and then maybe but yeah this guy alone middle is not even so i guess it's fine because yeah in the next next shuffle we should have enough damage to kill this anyway yeah, that's useless Yeah, it's probably fine. So we just deal 35 here. So bash into Pomo is okay. Yeah, we either discount even form discount body slam right now loss of 50 50 unfortunately but still we put some damage in and yeah we still have enough damage in this next cycle to kill yeah? so it's fine even though that is full of wounds losing chance they want to explore the seat okay yeah, yeah hello shit Carry is good. To root plus is green. Well, we can exhaust down to Pomo drop pick fairly quickly here now. That is not. <laughs> How many corruptions? That is not exactly. Yeah, that's not exactly enough though. Um. I mean, maybe it is, but um, without playing Corruption, it's not that fast. And if we play Corruption, we don't have a lot of block. And this damage output with pre based energy is not... Um, I mean, maybe with Demon Form, it's high enough, even though against Automaton. But stripping Artifact is difficult, yeah? We need to play this twice. At least for energy before we can apply Vulnerable and Automaton. Uh, I can't see this headbutt. I can also see removing something, like honestly, but uh, all these are green, yeah? And we do have these as well, so remove is slightly less effective. Mm -mm. Yeah, 
to say. I think I buy headbutt. Yeah, I think I just buy headbutt. Even though there's a twin uh, strike right here, but yeah, I buy headbutt. Upgrade demon form to get ready for automaton in case you need to rest after. Um, because I might want to preserve this fairy. Upgrade burning pack is okay too. I think I want to take the fight though with the white beast and flower not set up. Let's do that. That's a very demon form. So count this. Oh, here's a demon form in hand. So that's good. Play metallic size to land a one of three, but you can also play this to land a one of three. <laughs> Otherwise, you can always see in red. Yeah, I guess I can also metallicize first and then seek red if you do your thing, if you are going to play both anyway. Yeah, headbutt struck is fine. Demon form plus is now in play. Ow. You know what we are missing in this uh, in this deck? It's very surprising, guys, but I think an angle will be good here. <laughs> On a second drop kick would be also fine, but yes, uh, zero cost attack. <laughs> we also have no way we damage at all, yeah. And this is why you can also see if the draw though is like slightly weird, even with demon form top deck, we cannot deal a lot of damage. Emo. So just try into corruption would work. Yeah, okay, we can kill two. Now demon form is in play. Yeah, getting their drop kick. Amazing. Yo, now it's good, and we can absolutely kill. And it's real good. Second form was try. Yeah, we take. I did. So no metallic size then, but uh, yeah, that's fine. Take two. Oh, we can still get the metallic size with one. I think we're seeing red in hand in one form though. And we must exhaust this here, or the two grid. Oh, I guess seeing red is not doing anything. <laughs> but it's okay. I want to redraw seeing red? Mm, with double pommel, maybe. Also, it's probably dead. Yeah, probably it's just dead. It is dead. Not this turn, no? Uh, it's, I don't even know why I did that. I thought it was vulnerable. It's not. Because <laughs> if I did the proper order, it's dead. It's actually dead, but now it's not. Hmm, interesting. So I guess flower gets messed up a little bit, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, flower on zero. Perfect. Just pretend this guy draws a flower. In flame, uh, not exactly great. We already have demon form plus. Even with the mummified hand, not good enough, right? Weststone right now is upgrading for most right drop kick or headbutt. So out of these, yeah, only headbutt is like a bad hit. This is not even so bad. And we are definitely not picking an attack here. Well, it hits a bad too. But uh, we can upgrade in this form manually, maybe. Big potion is not good enough, yeah? 
That's a good form move. Hopefully we are strong enough for this. Hopefully. Exhaust Iron Wave. What is this? Okay, Exhaust Iron Wave minus then. Exhaust Carnage? Yes or no? Probably yes. And then I keep the scene right around so that once we actually exhaust down, we do play corruption immediately. And then when we exhaust down, we can uh, do some combo drop kick and, and hopefully kill this right in time. Yeah, no demon from turn one. Slightly spooky. Uh, if I pommel into the demon form, I guess I can play it with headbutt uh, into seeing red. Yeah, stealing demon form and corruption, yeah, that's pretty unacceptable. Because I need to play both. Yeah, yeah, now I have like, away my dropkick or what? If it's struck into the demon form, I can no longer play it. Mm, that's kind of bad. I guess I can do... I guess I can do headbutt on um, headbutt here, like the Iron Wave Plus maybe. And then have it away. Also block 7 and then strike here as well. Uh, but if left guy steals, I guess even if left guy steals corruption, it's still okay. If left guy steals demon form, we can get our demon form back maybe in... How much damage is this? Only 1224. If the iron wave hit is 31. Yeah, yeah, bottom decking both ray power in here is like really bad yeah, and they were both stealing. So even from 49 HP with a fairy, if we don't get set up quickly, we can die here. Not likely, but possible. Oh yeah, i probably do this. Okay, hit the automaton, that's the worst one. But I do not block this 8, yeah? I guess I actually could have just played struck, but um, yeah, probably not. Okay, this guy's corruption, this guy's demon form. And we don't draw drop kick. And we still don't draw drop kick, holy crap. I mean, at least we can... Okay, that is really bad, yeah, because then I cannot even play Corruption right now. And we cannot strip Artifact against Automaton. But I can throw it away by Strike now at least. Uh, and we can do Uppercut or Bash here. And the next time we can drop kick, kill this. Into Corruption play. To maybe block block a little bit and then switch strip artifact here. But yeah, that's really bad. That we do not play this on the automaton this cycle. Like one of these. Or we kill this. We also uh, we lost a draw the end, we also lost a mummified hand rolls. Yeah? Everything sucks. You can get rolled right now for one, but I don't think so. And unfortunately if I do bad strike here, I cannot play corruption. So uh, we cannot do that either. Uh, that's really, really bad. It doesn't matter what I play, eh? Bash up a cut, like, no matter what, it just dies next turn. So, Corruption will at least allow us to play Bash. But yeah, Demon Form is still not in play, because it's really bad. Oh, I can burning pack away this bash. Probably not. I can bash here, I can bash here. If I bash here, then maybe we can do some headbutt drop kick and then... Um, but then still cannot play the demon form. 
Yeah, we need to either have seeing red in hand to play demon form or just ignore the demon form altogether. Like, how, how necessary is the demon form really without strength, yeah? This is um, 13, so it's 19 and drop kick would be 12. We have 3 energy, so the loop would be, let's say we start with drop kick and then we uh, pommel and then drop kick into pommel into drop kick into pommel into drop kick. So we play 4 drop kicks and 3 pommel per turn. That is... Um, And we have exhausted enough cards, yeah, that we can just play Pommel into Dropkick. Uh, yeah, we, we can just Pommel into Dropkick repeatedly. So that's 48, and then the uh, Pommel is 39. No, it's more than that. It's 13 based on 19, so it's 57, 48, 105 damage. Okay, so we just ignore this then. Like, even Home sucks. Yeah, so we just completely ignore this. Um, man, I really want to keep the thing red around, so should I burning pack or just defend or not? Because I can also just not, I play bash, I play defend, but not play the true grid, yeah? So we block in total, what, 19? Ah, that seems bad. We are floating energy as well. Let's uh, pack away the defend. So we can strip all artifact right now. Or I can two with away the bash and we just play the upper cut with the seeing red. Because we do not actually need the bash. We play the upper cut another time and it works, but it doesn't apply weakness. Probably keep both of them around, right? How many cuts then? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 7. So maybe we need to start the turn with Pommel Strike instead of Drop Kick, but that's still fine. And we can maybe have like a Whale Cut. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's fine, that's fine. So I can headbutt the um, Upper Cut now, yeah? I have an uppercut now, struck into uppercut and play it immediately. And next turn we have some Pombo Havoc idea. And it's still weakened. And Vaughn. The defense are actually good to draw next turn. So I keep this. Because I don't want to lose Fairy yet. Uh, definitely do not want to have like a way drop click, I can tell you that. So I can have out a combo and uh, have it that. That's also fine. Uh, now we need to reapply Vaughn uh, one time. And Bash is better than Uppercut for that because uh, it applies on more vulnerable and it's still weakening this next turn so it doesn't really matter. We will lose Fairy next turn uh, unless we can kill. I don't think we can kill. That's fine, it's not like we are going to die or anything, we just lose Fairy. But yeah, bad draw the like, all around. Uh, nothing would actually happen this fight like, at all. Oh, you know, what can you do? And anyway, we don't die even if this guy attacked, which of course he does. But even if he attacks, we lose fairly to first hit, and then we heal to 25. And 25, we lose 23. So we go to 2. But of course this guy attacks. <laughs> because why wouldn't he? Okay, we don't kill here. This is only... We did talk about it, it's only 100 and whatever damage. Yeah, it's not enough. But we kill over two turns. It doesn't matter what we play here, it's the same. Oh, this side was terrible, but uh, we did not die. So there's that. 
But yeah, absolutely awful, horrendous. Like crazy bad. Anything bad that can happen in this fight, yeah, happen. Every single thing. <laughs> Whatever bad thing you can imagine happen, that could happen in this fight, except, okay, Havoc Rocket. But uh, we don't play blind Havoc, so it doesn't happen. But everything else that uh, happened, like, terrible. Actually, completely awful. Uh, the Reaper, yeah, I guess the Reaper we take. Double tap, uh, double tap, drop kick. But we don't have the Abacus, don't have Dredge. On the other hand, we can just Reaper Demon form our way through a lot of things. Whenever we can go, like, this loop, we can do that and, uh... Yeah, Reaper, just Reaper, you know. Yeah, Reaper, it's just Reaper. Exactly. <laughs> So we have a 4 lead path that goes through double fire which right now yeah, burning pack upward is fine. The other one we don't have any so we can upgrade something else. It goes through an early shop, mm, I guess that's also fine. We can remove a strike now there's nothing better to buy in the shop. Yeah? We can afford the abacus in this shop. We cannot buy sundial, we don't have enough gold but um, not super needed. Yeah, let's do four leads. We are we scared of Nemesis slightly? A little bit. Um, maybe honestly, even Retromancer is not that clear yeah, because the deck does not have any AOE, but we do have a Reaper. Also, we are not like that strong yet, so I don't think there's any reason to dodge. Yeah, let's just run into the four lead path. Kill the spiker. And we have a reaper, so probably yes. If I play this reaper right now, that's no longer true, though. No? <laughs> it heals eight, and then we kill this. Um, doesn't have. We don't have enough block in here if this guy attacks, even though we have metallic size. Because the waiting with Reaper is also not that easy, yeah? It's actually not so hard. Yeah, we can always block this thing and then Reaper can heal 51 at some point. So like, we exhaust down, we hit this guy, and then this guy has 19 tons where we can Reaper back for 51. I mean, that's kind of cool, no? Yeah, that's kind of cool. Let's do that. Going defend here and not demon form is bad. Okay, at least there's a demon form. Going iron wave now, I guess it's fine because yeah, this guy is hitting us hard now. So what are you? Maybe you have carnage and exhaust. Uh I should not play you because then I die. <laughs> I can however play 4 cards in hand first and then fin fire the last card. Like I threw it away my hand and then fin fire after. Oh no 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 we have taunts. Ah freaking bronze skills man. Okay okay this plan does not work yeah. Um so we better be slightly faster because we cannot heal 51. We cannot heal 51 here. So better be a little bit faster. How is this? Heal 10. We can do better than 10. I think. We can do better than 10. It 
attacks every turn now, yeah? No, that's fine. Today, Alexa, this. Because gamblers really want to keep in the steel white piece. Alexa, right now, is honestly still quite a strong potion, but it's not. Um, yeah, no fear, no pain, no dark embrace yet. And we do have white beast for the entire egg, and this potion I want to keep. No defect, yeah, no defect today. I play this and get out. I have something to do this afternoon. Ah, we are fine, we're chilling. This is full here already, yeah? so I can play it now. And we can of course advance foul to 2 as well, which is good with the draw we have. It dies to taunt either way, so we don't even need to draw a strike next turn. Mostly plus, not interested. A cleave. Yeah, probably not, right? I mean, I am slightly scared, right, to Mansur, yeah? But I don't think I'm scared enough to put a cleave minus into my deck now. Next week? No, no, it's not updated. I check the date, please. <laughs> if next week is 4. I can set to 4 right now. I mean, there's literally the dead, dead here for you to read. Oh yeah, we skip. Or C plus, I don't think it's good enough. Oh, that is the Dark Embrace on sale. Which I... Guess I would take. Yeah, I guess it would take. <laughs> yeah, here's the shockwave. Um, still phenomenal, right? I kind of want this spot witness though, because the demon form sometimes can be missed. Um, and honestly, with just a spot weakness into some form of strike drop pick, there's enough damage to kill most things already. And it makes the Reaper slightly faster too. If it buys spot weakness, uh, Shockwave it cannot remove. But we do have two good end burning back in the deck. However, with that brace now, I think I want to just slam corruption in most fights. Except a weakened one. Oh yeah, I guess a weakened one we can just exhaust now with this. It's fairly fast now with Dark Embrace. And we do have Perma Weak. Yeah, Shockwave spot is probably fine. Yeah. Also, discount, yeah. uh, dis discount on both. Uh, and now we can even take Red Mask. Red Mask for only 28. No! I mean, it is try plus, so it's not that even that bad in our deck, but yeah, sure. Removing now is positive. It is dealing 12 damage, eh, by the way. It's not a normal strike. It's a freaking Watcher strike. <laughs> but it's fine. It's still not that good.
I'm gonna kill next turn, so we just do that. Second win. I mean, better than power through. Wait. <laughs> Wait, we can get a mega strike, guys. This thing is only the new 20. And it double scale with strength. Ah oh, yeah, let's take second win, yeah. <laughs> let's just take the second win. Second drop pick is infinitely better than this. Yeah, yeah, infinite. Uh, another promo strike is not even so much worse. The only reason to take this right now is that if you are scared of time eater somehow. Like, are we scared of time eater? But our damage somehow is not enough. With spot weakness per my week. But no this um uh, and even form sometimes late. Because yeah, it is a lot of damage. It is an insane amount of damage. <laughs> On the other hand, second win is second win, you know, and you draw with the statuses, it makes us power through the next power through actually pickable. And good. I mean the power through is pickable, which is not actually very good at the moment. But this generally makes it good. Yeah, I just took the second wind card. Bang over tons. Ah, uh, sure. Oh, we don't have the thing yet. Um. I'm taking some damage for this, but maybe that's fine. We can reroll twice. Kind of, but if we want to reroll, I should see what is this first. Where sometimes it's like whirlwind or uh, uh, you know pummel multi hits, and then we cannot really guarantee that we are safe. I also do not need to block this, yeah, because this letter draws a card with that embrace, and we have Reaper unplayed. Let's just take this hit. I actually want to kill this turn, no? So hopefully this is a hit that we can block. We can. Yeah, block again this turn and then next turn uh, we can kill. Okay, not that. That's fine. Next to spike. Holy. Yeah, one mega strike comes after another. This is another card to say on a ZDO 20. <laughs> but yeah, probably not. We do not need a third pop more. Because right now the upgrade, we can upgrade on um, Shockwave. Probably not. Upgrade Diamond Brace is not needed with the Mumfight Hand either, but maybe it's still fine. So you can guarantee Diamond Brace Demon Form same turn. Up with uh, second win is fine. Up with burning pack is still good. Up with spot weakness is not so bad. And also just take another promise right. And up with that with the burning pack. And then we just ignore this and this. And this. Because we don't need any of these. I also don't need another promise right though. I don't want to lock my upgrade into that. Yeah, maybe not. We pack first. The giant head. Not the giant head, please. <laughs> yeah, not the giant head, please.
It does say that we bottleneck all powers, we have some issues. Um, yeah, good news, we did not bottleneck our powers. I'm on top probably, just want to draw Diamond Brace this turn. So with this misses, uh, doesn't really matter. Yeah, next time we can go in. Even though I weaken, we can still go. We can also just block him. It is costing 4 now, so we can go. Also, it's dead. But uh, we want to kill it next turn, not now. For some small heavy flower uh, optimization. Another struck, yeah, sure. We do run out of block. Mm. I mean, I shouldn't say run out of block because we intentionally exhaust now, but yes, our maximum block output is not that high at the moment. Another shock is fine. Sweet Potion, Gambler's Blue Elixir. Elixir with after Time Brace is now is super good and also exhaust statuses, but we have second win for that, kind of. Probably just draw a pot, right? Because Elixir is good after per powers and not before. And after, powers are, uh, after the powers are down, we're already kind of strong. And this also at least draw 3, yeah? This we need to exhaust 3 cards for it to draw 3. We go now. Because there's no super premium upgrade, we can do that later. Toxic egg, well, that would have been maybe still decent. Uh, this side is not easy, because they have some wounds. Okay, that's good. Maybe we have no wounds. Yeah, maybe we actually have no wounds. Well, we have one wound. <laughs> Um, we didn't even form down now, and that brace down, I don't think, a potion. I just take this hit, yeah? Yeah, I think I just take this hit. What do I headbutt, though? Dropkick doesn't actually work. Havoc is... If it hits Reaper, I'm slightly annoyed. Hmm. I guess I should kill one dagger. Huh? Yeah, I should kill one dagger. Uh, front or back? Back is more HP. We have no buffer, no fairy, whatever. Yeah, it doesn't matter too much. Second win on top or what? Because your Havoc Reaper is really bad. Second win now is not so good though. Ah, maybe just Havoc, it's fine. And 
can miss corruption here, but also I don't really care that much. Oh, oh, maybe I care a little bit about this. If she resummons now and my corruption is not now, and I also miss my spot weakness, yeah, then uh, and my reaper, and I care a little bit. Um, the wound or the strike? Probably the strike. I can still always potion next turn, but yeah, that's kind of annoying. Oh, really? Okay, at least we draw it now. And that took a while, yeah? Definitely took a while. But for now, sure. Oh, I love your sword weakness. I paid 85 gold for you, yeah? Lovely. <laughs> Anyone else loving sword weakness or just me? I love sword weakness. That's okay, because at least the Reaper will always perform. <laughs> Even if the spawn is being like, cringe. Yeah, Reaper good. The boot. There's a whirlwind plus. Uh, we can have a recommend a rematch, and we do have a wicked one right here that is slightly troublesome. There is another top wave, but genuinely, I think I take this whirlwind. Yeah, yeah, I think I should actually take this whirlwind. <laughs> Oh, I love your spot weakness, as always. <laughs> oh, spot weakness. Oh, what a cut, guys. What a cut. What a cut. Uh, sure. Our corruption now will be slightly bad, but it's just fine. Playing this now, and if we draw into an attack, would be quite bad. Okay, that attack is fine though. Not that bad. Imagine buying a curse, cannot be B. Like, why would you do that? Buying a curse. Play that. I don't want to even want to kill this turn, yeah? so why did I play that? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it dies next turn. And we handpick? Yeah, randomly handpick. 
Another pomo. We have an upgrade open. Honestly, looking at how the last fights have been playing out, maybe I want to upgrade his Dark Embrace. We are missing key powers a little bit too often by energy, even with the mummified hand and 4.3 base energy here. Yeah, it's like another thing, and we already have two draw pots. Yeah, I don't want this. Oh, we are denying the fish value, guys. Is this fight scary or not? Hopefully not that scary. We don't have evolve though. And there's spot weakness. And if I already land the shockwave, I don't need this uppercut, eh? so I can go. Holy. Yeah, not a lot of block left. But we can still block next turn, probably. The boots. Oh, I'm liking Dark Embrace. Not very cool. <laughs> Actually, bought some liking Dark Embrace, but yeah, that's fine. The boots. So we headbutt, um... What do I actually headbutt? Like... Pink red? Uh, if I draw a lot of burns next turn, it's slightly annoying though. It's probably still fine. I'm drawing a lot of burns. But uh, yeah, we have second win. <laughs> Thank God for second win. We actually top deck four burns and no attacks. Mm, okay, so we draw a pot. I do not accept this. Yeah, this fight actually dangerous now. Oh, well, I mean this back. There's no problem with that. Oh, I already see it coming, guys. The spot win is next turn. <laughs> oh, the spot win is about to go in next turn, and you are not ready. Yeah, it's not attacking ever. It's always buff after uh, the multi hit. <laughs> so, smoking this will miss. Yes. And it, it's fine, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it. I think I take this tool and just uh, headbutt like burning pack or drop kick. Probably drop kick. Oh, wait, we have our Kalkum. <laughs> Completely forgot. Wait, 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 this, uh, the thing actually can play next turn. If we don't play Rocky here, it will play. Ah. Holy. Oh, insane. Actually insane. Completely busted. Don't want to kill now, so I won't.
33 should be able to block should not be too hard to block this 33 and then it dies next turn flex plus no artifact though um no limit break no point right like one strength payoff for the hard fight probably not ah uh, maybe i do actually against time eater also like even from late and smoking is missed one time yeah and suddenly we only have maybe six or nine strength before we are forced to kill and here's a boomerang that can be green we have a quote unquote free upgrade Yeah, probably okay actually. I think I take it. Liquid memories over consistency potion. We can pull back spot weakness. And I think this combo drawn to gambler's pool is just very very powerful for right? four. I don't expect to have to use potion in actually boss gauntlet. Especially with the Reaper. So um yeah, I think in Act 4 I want to keep both of these. Giant head. Oh, I love you. Spot weakness. <laughs> what is actually the hit rate of this thing so far? And uh, that's ignoring the turns where we have like corruption dark brace. We draw the entire deck game because then it cannot really miss. Otherwise, I feel like it has only landed like what one time out of uh, six or something. Probably if you have a key into wood block or reaper is still fine. Yeah, that's fine too. I want to exhaust carnage, yeah. Just play this. Inform slate, but that's fine. Is it fine? Yeah, it's probably fine. Yeah, it's probably fine. Block next turn and kill the turn after, maybe. Dead. Ice cream. Oh, ice cream will win a little bit. Wait, I'm stupid. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, I guess I am just dumb. I have a boss battle, crown, and uh, P box. And yes, I took level P box. I mean, we don't need two of them, so one is good enough. I, I do not care about the second one. So we skip here, we take Inflame. But uh, I think I skip. And we have two upgrades, so we can do Boomer and then... Um, I guess that Embrace goes first and then Act 4 we can do Boomer. 
Maybe. Then we want at least? No, not at all. Like, why do you ask that? Corruption, yes. Corruption is middle like one. Um, before the boss reward, even. Yeah, second copy is a nonsense. In the Awakened 1 fight, we are not even playing Corruption, no? Um, what does this mean? We don't need the upgrade shockwave either. We just throw the first phase until... Okay, so let's think about this a little bit, yeah? We play Dark Embrace. I think we do still play Dark Embrace. To exhaust down with two with burning pack second win. And then we do some loop with Shrug Drop Kick. Shrug Drop Kick is um and we can ice cream store energy, so that always works, right? But let's calculate maybe four strength, like demon form one to play. I don't need to play it because I can mm, just exhaust and then play spot weakness instead, but let's assume I play demon form or metallic size for some reason. So I play two powers. He goes to 10, and 10 weakens to... Actually, no, uh, it's 12. 12 weakens to 9. So 36 damage once every 3 turns. Which we need to spend 5 energy to block. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Happy Flower, and then the other 2 turns we don't need to block as much. And then we have Reaper. Yeah, it's just fine. We don't need to worry about Wicked 1 so much. Yeah, with the ice cream, that upgrade is even stronger too, so let's just do that. I mean, this is also why we take Whirlwind. Am I even playing Whirlwind, no? Because I can see doing Uppercut and then... Not Whirlwind, but yeah, probably should Whirlwind. Uppercut, Whirlwind, Rock, or Calcum this turn. I don't think I ever got the Awakened one though, because it's Awakened turn 3 with this. Yeah, Corruption definitely don't play. This side is actually not that easy. Huh? And wave Headbutt, Pom 1, wave again. Block 14. And we can kill here and deal a little bit. I guess I can see what it is. Okay, another iron wave is fine. So how does this look? Um, 14. I guess we do 25 here and then 7 here is slightly better. The iron wave here. Iron wave here. Hey, about the iron wave plus. Pomo exactly kill and then Pomo 9 wave plus here. Yeah, it's uh, doing the thing. That's okay. We do play that and brace steel. Shock what happens. Knock kick here and then get impervious. Missing two grid is pretty annoying though, I would say. You can hit Reaper. I definitely do not want it to hit Reaper. <laughs> yeah, I think we exhaust the even form just play for weakness in this fight. Yeah? To we apply Vaughn is good because drop kick actually draws and save some energy. Uh, this can get play corruption, then we die. So let's not do that. I mean, we don't die, but uh, it would be slightly annoying. <laughs> 
Because if I play corruption, I would also play demon form, yeah. If I do, if I play corruption without demon form, yeah, a little bit slow. And then second phase, you take a lot of damage. So probably not. Wait, why didn't I play spot weakness? Wait, can somebody tell me why I didn't do that? <laughs> okay, don't worry about it. We have, uh, we we have a loop later. It, it, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, we have a loop later, it's okay. Maybe I don't play Spock Witness now, so I can actually play Pommel and Headbutt in order to exhaust. Because if I deal, if I get three strength, maybe it dies, yeah, and then it goes to second half. I still exhaust the powers even though we have the second win, because I do not want the Havoc to, you know, uh, be cringe. I will play this. Hmm, yeah, well, we can go. Can Bash go? Bash can go. Oh, these can go? Now then we only have one struck, yeah? I want two strucks. I mean, one struck with the drop quick is fine, but um, maybe not yet. Yeah, we can headbutt the two wit next turn, for example. Or we can headbutt iron wave and then have like the iron wave too. Yeah, no, but this I intentionally do not play this spot weakness this time. It's fine. Okay, this I can burn. At least I can burn away. Do it in this order, yeah? Slightly uncomfortable... Slightly uncomfortable HP because... Um, not no HP, but block value. Because uh, it hits me for like 18... And 18 says that if I play two block cards, I'm like very slightly short per turn. So I need to spend one extra energy. And at some point it doesn't... It stops getting weakened and vulnerable because uppercut deals too much damage. Is this even actually working? I mean, I hope it is. Yeah, because if it is not, it would be quite sad. You know? I need to burn a few more before we can do struck and to struck and to struck. And then we can finally store energy. If it's not weak and every three turns we need to spend two energy on uppercut, but I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine. I cannot have like away the uppercut, that would be very stupid. Yeah, I shouldn't play Spot Witness yet, basically, so, so even playing uh, the initial ones are, would probably only be a mistake. That's okay. 
Yeah, we choose to play this fight very slowly. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah, that's a bad shuffle. Um. Okay, that's slightly better. Do we need to spend one more energy here to take one more? Can burning back for more. Okay, almost there. Almost. Yeah, we do not need this form more, yeah? I need Reaper. I need Drop Kick. I need Spot Quickness up until a certain point. Uh, and I need Uppercut. But everything else can go. Take three more here to store energy is probably fine. Yeah, this is almost so I can go. Should probably start playing spot weakness now. But yeah, I have to cut first and then spot. Oh, I can still brick though. If I burn away this defense, I need to play drop quick to not brick. Otherwise, if I play drop quick now, it splits, yeah? I think immediately, honestly, is like fine too. It's not even that bad. Otherwise, we take like what four more, and then everything like, kind of sucks. Mm. Why is it so troublesome? <laughs> yeah, why is it actually so troublesome? I guess mainly because, uh, yeah, yeah, this is a problem with having champions bail uppercut as a weak source and not a close line. Because uppercut deals too much damage. <laughs> the uppercut generally deals too much damage. And yeah, if we upgrade one shot, then we don't really take this chip and uh, suddenly we're only full HP. I mean, I can also just concede and uh, leave this side with like 60 plus or so. But uh, I don't think I need to. I just take 4, right? Eh? Yeah, let's just take 4. not good we need to take another four here and uh, or i need to kill him now because uh, two weeks cannot be played now and there's no way to get rid of this i mean actually i can i ah, know i cannot because struck always draw the thing so i struck to defend and then there's no no target for two weeks so we're at the problem 24 and that's our turn I guess I just repo next turn, right? And then we get the hell out. <sighs> uh, 
Uh, how much is Ripple next turn? If I struck here and then uppercut, he goes to 25, 25 is 13. Yeah, it's only 25, it's not even good enough. I guess I can block one more turn. And we drop quick, rely on uppercut to kill. Actually, we can. Um, that is not. I guess it can still be up energy, right? Uh, because eventually we play the Reaper, yeah? And we we can also exhaust the spot bonus after we play Reaper. So then our deck, uh, these three cards are gone. And we have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And whenever we voice, we can play through it one time. And then we just play uppercut. Um, it is perma weak. It has 4 strength. It has 4 strength. So the second half would be... 42 uh, Weaken to 30 30 means 4 energy to block on multi-hit We do have 7 energy right now So it's actually fine Yeah, it's actually fine But of course I need to even draw into this Drop in the first place to chew with it <laughs> So we take 4 ball Need to play uppercut at some point. Is it uh, this turn or next turn? This is 25 now, yeah? Uh, so 49, 55, 55 is like fine, but it's not good. If we chew with away spawn and heal 33, so we heal up to 63, we don't lose more HP, which is again fine, but we can do better. Let's just take four more. I just take four more. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah, we can chew with away this drop kick now. If that's so we can chew it away to defend too, right? Is that true? That would have um... But now I don't take the chips of ones, yeah? I mean maybe I still maybe I will. Maybe I still do. If we bottom deck both trucks and I can chew with away the defend and then we always have six cards. So I can chew with the defend now. And our deck would be six cards and we can always struck, 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 struck. Uh yeah, and it works. Okay. And we only need to play uppercut once every once every three turns, which lines up with the flower. So we do gain energy slowly. It is losing HP though, because Apocar is freaking 40 damage, but the Reaper can also be played soon and then we don't need it anymore. And we don't need to stay here for that long basically. For us yeah, to be full HP. Perfect time, yeah, perfect time utilization. Actually, we can just struck 3 times. The big multi hit is what? Uh, 40. Oh, wait, then we use 5 energy. Oh, wait, I don't need to play uppercut. 3 energy per small hit, so we gain 1 energy, and then the big hit, uh, we spend 5 energy, so we are gaining energy very slowly. And once in a while, we can play 1 spot weakness. <laughs> okay, this actually works, we don't need weak. Yeah, we don't need weak, just play struck 3 times, yeah? And store a little bit of energy here. Also, uh, give this guy time to fill HP up so that we can actually freaking play Reaper now. And this phase, I mean. And then it's good. Yeah, it's exactly 24 and exactly 40, so it's much better than the garbage weak trash foes. And now this one is spent 5 energy, but it's fine. It's exactly full block. And we build up energy slowly. Reaper now is already, what, uh, 51. So I played bonus two more times and we have full heal with vulnerable. And it is having time to build up HP. Okay, fine, one. I 
Excellent five and a Z, yeah, not a problem. Two. So Reaper now is already 60, yeah, it is full heal. Uh 49 is not 60 if I play it now though. It's 49 and then it only has 50. Uh 57 HP. So 77. We are missing two. Well, let's wait. There's no reason to be impatient, so let's wait. I can overplay play uppercut now though. Let's do it now. Okay, we split. 60 heal. And play spot. Frogging. <laughs> oh, that's why it's so stupid, man. We can't do it away the spot weakness too, I guess. And that blocks a little, it blocks one more. We can take one, though. No? We can lose one right here. And we go to 79, 79 is 85. <laughs> and at the same time, we can also chew with it away. Let's take one. One is non. 16 void. Yeah, 16 is exactly two. Two times. And play an uppercut. Thirty, yeah, thirty is four times. Uh, with ice cream, of course, we won this next turn, yeah. Yeah, we won flower one, two, and basically. And spot into this is exactly enough, right? 55, 82, yeah, exactly so. Double check, 55, 27, 82, yeah, exactly so, so we don't take damage. So, zero potion use and we are full HP. <laughs> but somehow the pipe fell like pretty freaking bad. Okay, at least we top like demon form here. Uh, pack the Havoc. Oh, just play the uppercut. Pack Havoc is fine. Bot weakness. Well, I have Demon Form ready, so I apply debuffs, yeah. Time Rage is not down. We can headbutt the spot. Or oh, I can just pomo and try to draw into Diamond Brace Corruption. I just draw. Draw down is coming. Ow. Ideally, I would like to leave this fight with full HP, but if I cannot, yeah, so be it. It's fine too. Hey, uh, this fight is why we also have the Sobo Meringue, yeah? People later, right? And we can report now 24 to 70, so we're missing a tiny bit in Act 4, but we have this, and we have this, and we have the Reaper and the Spear and Shield. 
Because uh, trying to store out this thing is not actually that easy. Eh? Especially now that we have played Corruption, it's not that easy. I think I play Reaper now. And I can split. If we draw to um, Whirlwind, we can kill it immediately with this on two. Yeah, lovely spot weakness. So do I try or not? Or do I try to block three turns? 81 is not quite enough. One struck. Mm, sure. Okay, and we just kill. Now that was a lot faster than the other fight. <laughs> Even though we are missing like what um, three HP or no two HP now. Yeah, we are missing two HP now, and that was a lot faster. <laughs> so what is this upgrade? Um, the shockwave, the second wind, the spot weakness, this boomerang. Probably boomerang, yeah. Yeah, yeah, if we pick the boomerang plus instead on floor later, we can upgrade something else here. And also be shockwave, but probably not shockwave. Yeah, shockwave being played is already 4 quick, and then uh, artifact strip is not so slow either. Yeah, let's up with this. Yes, arm, toolbox, dual wield, remove, loop pod, second drop kick. There are many things here. Dual wield reaper is an idea, but uh, I think in the hard fight we just slam corruption. In spear and shield we also slam corruption. And there's no like, dual wield funeral pain ideas either, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, we just like this arm toolbox, yeah? Yeah, it's probably just this arm toolbox. Panache. Sure. That is good. Um, so I should pack now, probably. I think Whirlwind Beat Wit would probably be good. Holy Spot Weakness. I play it though. And we let this exhaust for the Dime Brace, yeah? Fire. Is killing or not? This arm shock wave and then fiend fire. This re replace themselves, so then hand size increased by one. This will be six cuts, ninety. Mm, not quite enough. If I fin fight this whole hand, I probably drawn to corruption. Uh, demon form easy in play, no debuffs down. Also, drop kick is missing, but maybe that's fine. The boots, yeah, exactly enough to reach corruption. Let's do that, and now we can go crazy. Block. Okay, 
We have no debuffs at all. This drop kick is like worthless. At the same time, we don't care. Ah, uh, maybe it's not so worthless. It's also probably not even a good idea to play debuffs and just do this instead. Oh, uh, this will be messed up then, but I guess it's fine. And we block this turn with some iron wave. Actually, it's fine. Next time we do nothing, but it doesn't attack, and turn after we kill. So flower win on two, uh, four HP, no problem. Limit break. Oh, another struck. It's a bit break as an empty draw on turn 1, but it makes our life like, a lot easier. Uh, if we don't have to second win it away, but... I mean, if we second win it away, then it's fine too. Ah, sure. Blood Potion is a lot, yeah? It's actually 22 HP. Oh, it's 17, because these things are also like 5. Ah, these are just metal, right? Without deck. Magnet, Chrysalis. I mean, we take one of these for sure, yeah, but I don't know which one. Probably Magnet, right? Because uh, Chrysalis can delay Corruption Diamond Brace draw and then it kind of sucks. Definitely not this. Ah, uh, discounted the worst one, but it's fine. Free Wizard is weakened for Psycho. And we do nothing here. Fifty first, so uh, we have one more turn to draw this arm. Let's play demon form, and next time we can go in with potions, yeah. Like demon form and turn. If it discount like two grit or something, we can two grit. I guess I can two grit first, and then demon form. But uh, playing another card is not that easy. I just played even for main turn, yeah? So we take how much? This is minus 46, so we go to 35, yeah, not a problem. Oh, I guess struck, then we can struck. Ah, then we don't get a recalcum block, though, because if I struck into... Yeah, you just reach one cut deeper, but uh, some things I don't want to play here. And then uh, our recalcum is messed up, so we lose like four more. Probably not. Hit me. <laughs> Hand of greed, yeah. So the magnetism so far has given us two garbage attacks, which is bad. <laughs> we are currently taking zero. Um, is there any reason to actually potion and go now? The big reason will be second win is in hand. So that if I draw into Diamond Brace, can exhaust a bunch of garbage immediately. Probably not, right? I think I just disarm and save energy. Yeah? Is that fine? We do no damage because uh, we can definitely block second cycle. Third cycle is when you get fishy, but we do have a limit break, so now at least. Yeah, yeah, not drawing now also makes a limit break stronger. Do I have Discord? No. I mean, not a server, I have an account. But uh, I do not have my own server. I also do not plan to make one. 
At least not in the near future. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. However, I do want to draw onto my debuffs now. Um, so let's uh, draw a pot. Generally impervious now, how bad is that? How stupid is that, I mean? Also, Spock Wing is going in again, yeah? Probably pretty stupid, right? Playing impervious now. Let's do this instead. In game, let's draw. The Void. Honestly, Metallic Side can go too. Honestly, even the Void redraw is not that bad. I need to draw into my things like now. Ah, the Void. <laughs> the Void we need scattered, yeah? Okay, and now I get my bash in play. I really want to play Shockwave now, though. Um, Havoc right now cannot hit anything bad. So let's do that. By hitting Shockwave is a good thing. Living Work now 6 strength. Which I guess I do. I can shuffle now too. If I shuffle now, like how bad is it? Um, it's probably okay. So I do something like limit break into sword boom rank into defend reaper max out damage. Because the thing with not shuffling right now is that next turn um, I go blind. Yeah, it is weakened. But if I don't play reaper immediately, I can actually die next cycle if I completely break one turn. And we have enough damage to kill it in three already with this. In four, so we never need to see the third cycle. If I'm shuffling now, I also do not need to care about this um, defend. So I play defend immediately and save me the death too. And we heal twenty four with the reaper. That's good enough. But I shuffle this in, yeah, and we leave it right. And now a reaper. 13 for one bit of death. Mm. Cool. Heavy blade. I mean, heavy blade is good. And now this max out. Yeah, we're chilling. It's like super dead. Yeah, it is super dead. Uh, second win now would be good, and we always draw into it. What are you? Sure. Easy fine. Expected. We are our block now, but it's also our HP. This is also why I uh, took the Sobber rank, by the way, because. Um, yeah, I, I, I knew the hard fight would be something like this, yeah? Without a fear no pain, uh, we do burn to our block in two cycles. So we must kill it before we see the third cycle attack. Of course, this arm made it a lot easier because I can maximum preserve my resources first cycle. But that's the idea, that we need this uh, big damage card, you know, to max out easily. Ah, 
are not bad. Uh, kind of a soft brick boss relic in after act one, but the rest of the things are strong enough, and of course Reaper is OP as usual. And yeah, early corruption into maybe act three dark embrace, wood relic, sustain, perma wick. That's solid. Oh yeah, I'm not doing um, any actual streaking runs today, so um, don't think I will stream when I come back either. I need to leave for something like in a couple of hours. That hexa, yeah, hexa can be pretty nasty. But that is why I also like kept. Um, as I saw all the potions before in early act one, and I just keep like at least one potion hexa goes. Next time you do need to respect a lot on Ironclad. It's a difficult fight. I burn the bottom next shot for Carnage Plus, Power Pot, Fuel No Pain, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm afraid of um, hexagons enough that I just power port on turn one. Even with the strike dump me and carnage first and perma phone, yeah, I just uh, <laughs> I do not trust hexagons at all. Who actually let me through? Oh, yeah, sometimes it kills you. So what exactly happened this run? Like, pretty strong act one, good relics, and then we break boss relic a little bit. Um, so that leads to us, you know, this fight being really bad. <laughs> but it's fine, because we still preserve the blood pot, yeah? So suddenly now we have 50, but actually we are still, like, pretty freaking healthy. Yeah, we are still very healthy. After burning elite, we have 44. And then the rest of the act goes smoothly, because you have potions every single fight. And also mummify hand. So the lack of energy relic matters a little bit less. Automaton was extremely nasty, like insanely terrible draw order. And bad attack patterns. But uh yeah, barely survived with the fairy honestly never really in danger. The question in this fight is just whether we use fairy or not, but I am never actually in danger of dying. Inferno Blade, uh seeing red iron boy. But it's pretty annoying that we actually lost a fairy here. Oh yeah, free energy reaper into free energy makes the entire act three pretty chill. <laughs> Until this fight. <laughs> I mean this fight again, yeah. We are again, once again, never in danger of actually dying, but it's annoying to play. Like same as this. Uh time is free. Uh speed and shield is free, heart is free. Yeah, it's just a strong run with sustain. Yeah, tricky points. Um... Why are we actually in danger? Probably never, right? Like this run, I don't, I don't see a single fall where we can actually die because we always have enough resources um, in the potion bell and whatever. But the most we can face in a single fight is that we use our pot. Yeah, I, I don't see a single flaw where we can actually die in this run. Like, if we die, it's because maybe we lose all the potions here, and then we die at three flaws later, but th th that does not happen with the deck that we have. So, yeah, pretty solid. Okay, let's get out of here. Anyone else playing this? Uh, looks like no. Now let's go to Dane then. Yeah, rotation, yeah, because uh, this is Ironclad and Dane's playing Silent. 
So otherwise we need somebody to play d5. Yeah, thanks for watching guys as always. Uh wait, can I explain why the red exhausting strikes status so in curses sometimes I have second win and I have corruption. So the skills um the skills do exhaust. And the status is sometimes I can second win away. But the strikes never go away unless I actually manually exhaust them. Bye yeah, see you.